Hey, 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 what it do, baby? It's the kid here, the big bad demon. I just want to take a second to thank you all for stopping by. Halo Reach is on PC and it's a ton of fun. But today, I'm going to show you guys the best way to rank up tiers and get all those sweet cosmetic upgrades as fast as possible. Also, make sure to stick around till the end of the video because I just found a cool little Easter egg in Halo Reach PC and I want to know if you guys have seen it too. And as always, if you guys like games like Halo, Call of Duty, Overwatch, and everything gaming related, make sure to smash that subscribe button like it's the baddie you just met at your recent frat party. Toss me a like, this video helps you out. And if you just want to chat, you can toss me a comment, or you know, better yet, all three. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so in Halo Reach PC, the way that you get new tiers is by leveling up your global rank. Every level that you gain, you'll get a season token, which allows you to buy a tier in your armory. Every rank allows you to get a new cosmetic item. It's pretty simple. So in order to increase your global rank, you gotta level up using experience. Now, experience in this game is based off of three things. Match, performance, and teamwork. So your match experience basically consists of how long the game lasted and whether or not your team wins. So obviously you want to try to get wins as this drastically improves your match experience gain. 3000 XP is the maximum you can get for this category. Now performance is the next category and also the biggest. This is based off your individual performance in games. So your medals are the largest indicator of this. The more double kills, triple kills, bull trues, exterminations, etc. that you achieve in a game, this raises that score. 8000 EXP is the current maximum for this category. And lastly, teamwork. Now, teamwork experience is awarded for medals such as assists, avenging a teammate, saving a teammate from close death, and other team-related medals. So the maximum that you can be awarded in this category is 5,000 experience. If you're getting anywhere close to that, you're doing pretty good for yourself. So now that that's out of the way, what are the best game modes to maximize these XP categories? I have three for you, and this all depends on your playstyle, what you're ultimately good at, and also what you like to play. I don't want you guys to get bored out here. Firstly, SWAT. SWAT is a great game mode because if you are decent at hitting those fast headshots, you can easily rack up 20 plus kills a game. This means that you'll definitely hit your performance maximum every game, guaranteeing you at least 8,000 EXP a game. If you win, that's an extra 3,000 experience. So for teamwork, it's kind of a tricky one. It's kind of hard to get assists in SWAT, but sometimes they do happen. It's kind of a luck of the draw in SWAT, but not as much as in our next game mode. Rift Ball. Now we all know and love Griff Ball from its crazy strategies to bloodbath gameplays. And it's pretty easy to get high multi kills in this game mode, so your performance cap of 8,000 is easily met. If the game lasts uh, about 5 to 10 minutes, you should be able to get the easy 3,000 experience in the match completed category if you win the game. And it can be pretty easy to hit the 3,000 to 5,000 mark in the teamwork category as well. Griff Ball is probably the best game mode to boost tiers out of these three, but I personally find Griff Ball kind of gets old fast, so I tend to stick to SWAT or our next game type. Infection. Now Infection is a great one. Not only is it fun, but you can also find a good spot to camp and be the last man alive. You'll get tons of kills in this game, lots of multi kills and some teamwork experience. So that's how you do it guys. Cycle through these game types, perform well, and you will rank up no problem. Or, you know, find your favorite one and keep on grinding it. My favorite personally is SWAT. Even though it's not as good as Griff Ball, I have a lot of fun with it. And to all you AFK boosters out there, you know 343 is planning on dropping the ban hammer soon. So stop ruining this game for others. Just play, have fun, and enjoy Halo Reach while it lasts. Also, I told you guys about that Easter egg at the beginning of the video, but did anybody else know about this? Some kid online just showed me this in a random infection game. It looks like you press a button and then this little doll comes up and he told me that it has an old halo reach mask that's not in this game now i'm not sure if this is only an infection or what but drop me a comment down below if you've seen this before and you know how to do it i might actually make a video on how to do it sadly that's all the time that we have for today but as always hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode drop me a like unless your mother dropped you when you were a child and thanks for watching peace people